You wanna keep it real, you know the deal. Keep you up on game, it won't be the same. Say what's his neck, clean, cold. Say what's his neck, clean, cold. Say what's his name, cold. Say what's his neck, clean, cold. Listening to advice from a football. Ladies and gentlemen, you are tuned into a new episode of Advice from a Fuckboy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are like, what the fuck? Why are you singing? Anyway, new episode of Advice from a Fuckboy. Favorite fuckboy, Clint Coley. I'm going to introduce my guest in a second. Um, before we get started, first of all, I just want to say you guys, thank you guys again for listening. Thank you guys again for making sure that we are uh, we are number right now uh, in the top comedy podcast. We are number 21 in America right now. We are the number 21 with a bullet. That means that we are trending upwards we are doing better than podcasts that's been established for a long time and i'm not going to say any names but we are here we're doing a great job thank you guys keep sharing the podcast i'm telling you you're going you know we y'all man y'all doing it thank you um real quick just want to want to throw out my um throw out a couple of uh um uh, uh live podcast dates you already know we're doing kansas city that's the next one june 16th get your tickets kansas city they're five dollars all right Kansas City, June 16th. That's a Sunday. That's Father's Day. Bring all the ain't shit fathers. We're going to talk about them motherfuckers, all right? So, no, honestly, Father's Day is for the good fathers. We don't give a fuck about the ain't shit fathers. Ladies, treat your man, or treat, if he's a daddy, you call him daddy in the bedroom, so wish me wish him a happy Father's Day. Get your tickets. It's Kansas City, all right? Second thing, uh, June 18th, Washington, D.C. Get your tickets. We already sold out the last show. What makes you think we won't sell out this one? What makes you think we won't sell out again? All right, it's gonna happen. January, June eighth, June eighteenth, we at uh, Draft House Comedy Theater in um, in uh, in Washington D.C. June nineteenth, we are in uh, Los Angeles, California. Um, make sure y'all get y'all tickets, man. They five dollars too. Uh, where we at? We at Comfort LA in LA. All right, so we at Comfort LA, and I, it's my birthday. I turned thirty two. That day. well, I'm turning thirty two the next day. You know when we do Oakland, but you know we we gonna ring in the birthday. And I'm going to be high, and I'm not going to have no shirt on, all right? Um, oh, my boy Colin's in the building. Colin, what up, baby? How you doing? You look good. All right, he ain't paying me no mind. Fuck you. All right. So, so uh, let's get to the topic. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go on record and tell you, and this is on my mom, and this is on God. It is the summer of 2019. It is officially upon us. And I am not letting anybody dusty ass fucking daughter play me. All right. I'm not getting played by anybody's dusty ass fucking daughter. All right. John Wayne is. What's up, John Wayne? How you doing, man? Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. I'm not letting nobody's dusty ass daughter play me this summer. All right. I'm doing the playing. Fellas, we doing the playing. We doing the macking. We not letting nobody's dusty ass daughter, you know, with. With with dirty maxi dresses and dirty old navy flip flops, we not letting y'all play us this summer. We doing the playing. Last summer I got played. I got played last summer by somebody's daughter. Absolutely, it happened. I'll never forget. You know, I took the, it was it was in Atlanta. I wanted to go on a date with this chick. She said, "Meet me." We I said, "Yo, we gonna go to Six Flags." I went to Six Flags, and this dusty ass daughter of somebody's decided to stand me up at Six Flags in fucking Atlanta. This has never happened again. We are taking control, and I'm taking it back, and I'm not letting nobody dusty do it. If you want to hang out with me, you need to you need to request my time. My time needs to be requested now. You can't just run up on me and say, Clint, take me on a date. Nah, you need to go through a you know, I, you know, I had a girl, she she's like, yo, Clint, can you take me on a date? And I'm like, what did you do to deserve a date? Yeah, nobody's dusty ass daughter is safe this summer. All right, yeah. So your daughters with the with the dirty ass old they, and and all the dirty ass Chinese slides that y'all used to wear back in the day. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, all of that. I'm not getting played this summer, fellas. Look at me. Look at me. Look in the mirror. Look at me. Look at me. My name is whatever your name is. I'm gonna just say. I'm gonna just give you a black name. My name is Deshawn. And I'm not getting played by nobody's dusty ass daughter this summer. Let me take my glasses off while I say this. My name is Deshaun. And I'm not getting played by nobody's dusty ass daughter 
this summer. It's not happening. It won't happen again, all right? This summer, we are, we are players from the Himalayas. We are macking. We are macking and hanging this summer, fellas, all right? We ain't, yeah, they, women want to be thoughts and activate thought mode. We activate in thought mode. Let's go. I want all gray sweatshorts. Fellas, we not, from now on, this summer, we showing up at, we showing up at events. We showing up in the fuck me uniform. That's a white t-shirt, flip-flops, gold chain, all right? And, and Nike sweatshorts with your print showing, all right? Fellas, we being hoes this summer, all right? We are macking and we hanging. With that being said, this is a new episode of Advice from a Fuckboy. Thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, I got my special, got a special guest with me. Um, so, um, I, first of all, I'm going to let you introduce yourself. Um, her name's Carmen, all right? Um, we're not, we're not, I'm not going to sit here and say she's, because I always say, like, they're a very good friend of mine. We're not, we're not good friends. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. Um, but Carmen is here, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for Carmen. Yeah. Thank you, thank you very much. What's up, everybody? I'm happy to be here. Yeah. I'm your girl, Carmen. Yeah, you're yeah. you're their girl, Carmen. I'm 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 your I'm your home girl. Too. Yeah, okay, okay. You know? Um, first of all, before we get into the topic, um, let's talk. I always always talk tell, talk about how we met, how I met, how we met the person. All right, mm -hmm. do you remember how we met? I remember who we met through. I don't remember exactly where we were, but I know we met through a mutual friend. That's um, not what happened. It's not what happened. It's not what you happened. Remember exactly we met what twice, happened. Actually. Really? Yeah, we met. Well, so the first time we met. Okay. First time we met. Uh, don't you know? You know. You might. You know. I know it might be a little, little emotional. I'll tell you exactly how we met. Okay. Summer. It was the new. It was New York City, 2012. I'm in New York uh. City. My cousin used to work for Sony. All right. So on Sony, it, there's an artist named Miguel, and my cousin was like Clint. <laughs> Let's go see Miguel perform at some, uh, uh, it was at like a little record shop or something like that, right? But he had an opening act. The opening act was Leah LaBelle. Leah LaBelle, yes and, it was. And, 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 mm. and Leah LaBelle had two background dancers. One name is Michelle Michener, who is mm -hmm. now on Lethal Weapon. Yes, yeah, she and is. And on Fox. Uh, shout out to, and she's married as fuck. Hi, Michelle. How you, doing? <laughs> How you been? It's good to see you. I love you. Married as fuck. Uh, that's one of my really good friends of mine. And then I met you. Yes, through uh, Michelle. So we met there. And then I used to have this, uh, I used to have an um, R&B show that I used to host here in LA called the Flavor In Your Ear Soul Series. Yeah, It's a dope name, yo. Yeah, it was a you know, dope Here series. comes the brand new flavor in your ear. You know, he's young. He don't know, man. Yeah, no. yeah he don't know. Well, they don't know Niggas nothing. is mad I get more butts than ashtrays. Fuck a fair when I get mine the fast, fast way. way. Ski mask way. Fall. Anyway. All right. So that's yeah. So and she came and did my show. She did yeah. my show. Uh, I actually have a dope picture of you oh, really? from that. Yeah, I got a dope. I got to get. Yeah, got to send that to me. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah, a dope picture. Good throwback Thursday. Yeah, that, be so you don't remember? I remember. Yeah, I remember. Just what stood out, what really stands out, how we met was the uh, the open mic. It was yeah. such a memorable event. Right. Yeah. Queen no, Latifah we had. Latifah was there. Latifah came um, through. Faith, Faith Evans, Evans came was through. there. Yeah. It was a lot of. It was. It was a lot of soul. I remember Stacy Barth came through. Yeah. She, yeah oh, right. she's a beast. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like it was, and then people was like, "Yo, how do I get up?" And I'm like, "I don't know these singers, so I mm -hmm. can't." I mean, shit. If you can sing, you can sing. Like you know what I mean? I don't give. I don't give a shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's on you. You, you get know? up there and play yourself. You know. You know. Yeah, but. You know, so it's all good. Um, I'm 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 happy you here. All right, so let's talk. So, see, here's the thing. I be mm -hmm. seeing memes all the time, mm -hmm. and girls be saying, you know, like you know, waste his time, and y'all 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 mm -hmm. take pride mm -hmm. in playing niggas. See, I'm a different type of woman, Clint. I can't. First of all, really you're a different woman. Relate. Wait a minute. All women that get on this podcast say they're a different type of woman. Well, the different type of woman that you're talking about, right? Okay. Now. What kind of woman are you? Um. I guess it depends on the mode and what's called for from me at that time, but I'm not the type of person that likes to intentionally waste anybody's time because I believe in mutual respect. Clear, clear word that she said was intentionally, which means you've been wasting niggas' times. No. Nah. Nah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, you got some people that just get in the game to play. You know, you got yeah. some people that yeah. they looking for somebody to bring the best out of them, or yeah. they looking trying to learn how to bring the best out of themselves. Right. There's a lot of searching going on out here right now, but right. I don't have time to be wasting somebody's time. I'd rather be honest with you. Right, right, right. So okay. That, in, this, in that type of situation, that's the time. Let me ask you a question. When's the last time you wasted somebody's time? <sighs> be honest. When's the last time you like, you know, I'm yeah, like, give me a description of wasting someone's time. Like, you time. know, you don't like this nigga, but you still gonna go out with him. I don't do that. You don't do that. I don't do that. You don't do that. I don't do that. On God, you don't do that. On God. So if you don't like him, you're I'm not, not a free meal. Like it ain't even me, about feed me real quick. Meal, type but it of, could just be you bored. 
if I'm bored, then I'm not wasting your time because that means that I, I want to spend my time with you because I'm bored. I want to be entertained. Okay. All right. You know what I'm saying? So, right. so what do you mean you want, you want me to dance for you? You can if that's what no, you like. Playing. I have been dancing for. <laughs> you had a nigga dance for you? Yeah, I mean, I had I had somebody, come on, let's dance. Oh, okay. I want some cute little, okay. let me now, bust I'm a little two-step, make I'm you not, break not, out of your I'm shell. Let's dance. <laughs> and I had nobody, you know, do the five, six, seven, eight for me. You know? Yeah, I'm not that guy. I'm a, I'm a you know, because me, man, I like, first of all, I like to dance. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't dance. I'm, you know, do you believe that the way a guy dances, that mean, like, if he can, if he can dance, then he can fuck? Um, yeah, I think it, it uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you can't dance. You can't. Because I think rhythm is rhythm. That's something yeah, you like yeah. feeling your heart. Yeah. So it's like, you I know. Remember, I remember one time I was having sex. I was trying to dance during sex. Like not dance, but like I was I was moving to the beat. <laughs> uh, and she was like, Clint, you know, you're fucking me off beat. And I, I was like, oh shit, I'm sorry. My bad. You know I don't think I don't think you have I think uh there's something about sex and chemistry right. that um it draws action out of you. Right, right. Where you from? So when you have sex, it's like a person can bring it out of you or you can bring it out of them and y'all yeah. could reach heights that you didn't know you could reach. Don't have nothing to do with dance steps. Where you from? I'm from Baltimore. From Baltimore. From the East from, Coast, baby. You from Baltimore. From Baltimore. I had, yo, that's how they talk, Baltimore. Like say two. Two. Okay, they'd be like two. Do. My, uh, two. My, my road manager, he's from Baltimore, man. My road manager, oh, Gary. What? Yeah, I fuck with Gary. I love Gary. Um, But uh, no, I, I guess for me, okay, so like, I be like a lot of times, like yeah, I see memes and girls will be like, yeah, I'm gonna play him, I'm gonna waste his time, and I'm like, mm -hmm. fellas, we not getting played this summer, man. It's not happening, no mm -hmm. more. Uh, uh I'm, I'm taking a stand. Mm -hmm. I'm taking a fucking stand. <sighs> You've never played anybody. Dang. First of all, if you don't mind me asking, are you? I mean, I don't want to tell your age, but how? Uh -huh. you, know, you, 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 I'm, I'm in my thirties. Yeah. 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 You mature. I'm in okay. my thirties. I'm mature. Yeah. Um. So you mean tell me in your twenties it was you know? Man. I'm a different kind of man. Like, are you dating anybody right now? I I have friends, you know. Um, okay. I have friends. I'm not. I'm not. Ah, uh, that's a hard question. What do you mean you got friends? Are you? Are you, <laughs> date, are, are you um, you got friends. So you got. So you got. You yeah, I'm. I'm open to dating and meeting people, and mm -hmm. I have special friends. You know, yeah. How many friends you got? I have friends, but I am not seeing anyone like that and I have a special friend that I'm you know so you got one and then you got some some possibles is what you're saying it's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I mean I, I believe I say this on this podcast all the time I believe in dating multiple people at the same time yeah I believe in dating I believe in having friends um I'm open to exploring where energy takes me without having Are you like, attention you to those, hurt you anybody them, you girls that be having like they, yo, you got your chakras aligned and shit like yeah that. i do okay you can right. tell can't you yeah yeah i feel your spirit yeah. i'm feeling it right you can i can't tell, can't you? yeah i'm not i got my you stuff. want me to get on here and talk some bullshit like i'm gonna play a nigga or something no, no i don't want you no i want you to be yourself okay i want you to be yourself i'm gonna, I'm gonna give you that I, i'm, you I'm gonna give you I don't, that i'm not saying that you have to my thing is we all have played somebody we've all mm -hmm. been played we've all mm -hmm. been you know i know me you know i you know i, I played women mm -hmm. you know because i you know at the end of the day man it's it's not that i'm trying i'm not intentionally trying to play mm -hmm. you. you know what i mean but i know you like, know what i can look back on the situation and be like yeah i was playing are you a player if you're not sleeping with the people because i think i'm not i'm not a very sexual person but whoa, whoa, when, whoa, 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 let me let me let me put it to you like this i'm you not you're not a sexual I'm, person i'm a i am a very sexual being meaning if it's time and i'm in the moment you finna see some action you finna see some work okay but i am not um i'm not the type of woman that needs sex all the time and you got the type of woman who need to have sex two three times a week maybe every night they don't even care if it's different guys and you got the type of women who really don't indulge and I'm not promiscuous. I, I have a lot of men who like like care for me, maybe even love me. Ooh, I'm not having sex with. I don't think sex makes you a player. Okay. Sex don't make you a player. Make it a player. I, you know, let's define yeah. what makes you a player. Let's, define let's, what let's makes you a there. player. A player is somebody who's jumping around from person to person to person to person uh -huh. and not telling person Ooh, to person yeah, to person nope. to, that there's other people. Would you agree with that? Is it so? Are, if you're dating, are you? Is it mandatory well, I, to tell the person yeah. I'm dating a whole bunch of people right now? You just say like you know like I mean I don't I'm not overt and be like I don't be like oh yo like I'm just like like mm -hmm. when when the when the question is a ride when the question comes like mm -hmm. hey you know what what are we doing like you know hey you know uh, you know look I'm I'm dating 
Mm-hmm. I'm dating. I'm dating you. Mm-hmm. I'm probably. I'm dating your sister. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm dating your friend. If only men were that honest in real life, Clint. I really, Clint. Would you? I'm. Do you know how terrified men are for you to know that there's another woman in the picture? Because I, I feel like the first thing y'all think about is if she knows that I'm smashing somebody else. It's not even about smashing. It's just I let women know up front. Like, look, this is what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. I could. Br- I, I. I. And I can have. I have. Proof, like mm-hmm. I've told chicks, like yo, like I'm not, I'm dating, I'm seeing other people. That's the, good. I'm seeing. I other, commend you for that. I'm seeing other people. Mm-hmm. The main thing is because, like, my thing is again, man. Like, well, here's the thing, you know, you know, the podcast is called advice from a fuck boy. Fuck boys, mm-hmm. I, again, we the definition is you lie to mm-hmm. get what you want from mm-hmm. women. You know, I don't have to. You know, look at me. Mm-hmm. Look, I'm so pretty. You are. No, I'm pretty. No, I'm, I'm playing. I just man. been, I just been hearing in my house all week. <laughs> For the past couple of weeks, man. But no, no. But I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think that I, we don't have to lie anymore. And I'm trying mm-hmm. to get guys out of that. I'm it's tr- too many ways to catch a person in a lie these days. Have you? When, have you caught somebody in a lie recently? Um. What is your dating life like? Oh, it's dry. It's dry. It's dry because okay, I've been this female ever since early twenties. I dedicated myself to my career early, which was entertainment, music, tell, tell writing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm a songwriter. I've been a songwriter for uh, EMI for about ten years now, right. um, which is now Sony. So I wrote for Bad Boy and got a, you know some nice credits under my belt. And what's your biggest hit? Um, I wrote exclusive for Day Twenty Six. Hey. I also uh, sang on an American Gangster album, which was really cool yeah, for Jay Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, did you sing? You, know. you sang? Did you sing? Did you, you wrote since since you've been gone. I just can't. Sing. You didn't. No. Know that's my jam. Uh-uh. I didn't like Day Twenty Six. <laughs> I sang. Life is such a crazy thing. Hey. It's never really what it seems. All uh, right, write me that this, one. Write me. You ever wrote a man a song? So, yeah, that's all I used to write for Day Twenty Six. No, write, I mean like you wrote a like I wrote a man a song. Yeah, I write guys. That's how I. That's that was my specialty, writing songs for men, for women. No, I mean like like you've been. Oh, wrote for my like, heart. Everything I write is. I'm is, saying like like yes. let's say you feeling me you're like yo, Clint. I got this song that I wrote for you, cause I, I can't sing, but this is no. I don't think I ever told a person that the song was about them. Okay, all right. I all think right. you know I just used it as. Oh, I let women know this joke is about you, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would never. Oh, I would this never want to. Uh, Woo. I mean, well, here's I know the thing. Your girl I don't be going through it. A lot of women, like, first of all, I hate when women say, mm-hmm. I hate when women say, oh, you're a comedian, don't put mm-hmm. me in your little jokes. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you, first of all, you are not that important mm-hmm. for me to put you in my fucking material. Like, mm-hmm. you are, you are not, like, you are, like, I it's just, good though. You need life. You need, like, fuck shit to happen. The yeah, last I just fat met man. you last week. I'm Honesty not putting you is, in my fucking, you're not that, right. you're not they that. Niggas be boy. trying to fuck up. They be like, oh, that's about me. Yeah, right. No, like, sis. No, it's not about you. <laughs> exactly, sis. Sis, come sis. on. But look, back to the topic. Yes. So, putting my career first. Yeah. Um, It was a different time back then, not to tell my age, but it wasn't about, being pregnant and on stage. It wasn't about having a man yeah. and being proud of it. It was you're married to the music. Yeah. You don't have a boyfriend. This is this music is it's your man. Yeah. You don't have a kid. This is your family. And so yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that's yeah. how I grew up in my right. 20s right. with that mentality. And I grew up around a lot of men who um, had a lot of power to draw in women. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The ditties and the, you know. Yeah. So seeing that kind of thing and getting the schoolings from them, right. like Stevie J used to give me dating advice. Stevie J. On some like, do you see this bush? Like, don't you ever get played like he this. Would, yo, honestly, you he, know, he should you, have a podcast called Advice. He's a fuck. great guy. And it's just so funny how like, it's a character for TV. Yeah, but sure it is. To know Stevie J is to know a very intelligent, enlightened guy. He's a, he's a dope dude. But just being schooled to the game by the type of things that can happen to women, I was taught to keep my focus. To right. not give my heart away. And I had that nigga mentality, man. Right. I had that dude mentality. Like, I would be sitting at a date and the dude would be talking and all I would hear is like, wah, 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 like Charlie Brown's mom. Because I'm thinking like, okay, what do I need to write? I got to be to the studio tomorrow by right, seven. Right. So you weren't allowing yourself. So I wasn't allowing myself to really. And I got to the point where I just separated my emotions and just thought logically. And I, I attracted really, really good men. And I didn't want to be hurt. And I didn't want to hurt those good men because I knew I wasn't about to put them first. And it was like the square guys that I would come in contact with would want me to be that regular girl that could attend to them in certain ways. And I was just 
this business minded chick who wasn't thinking about family and kids and boyfriend and coming home and laying up and all. I was thinking about getting to the bag and that's just how I grew up. So I just got to the point where I never put my feelings before my business. And that's how I stayed. That's how my dating life became dry. And I think that's how my friends There's or the the, the, like the men that wanted to be around me that I kind of kept off guard, they never went anywhere and they just love me. Like no sex, no nothing. And what I did was, let me tell you the bullshit I did that probably hurt myself. I hurt myself. I found another nigga that wanted the same half-assedness that I wanted out of it. Mm. Like, oh, okay, you do this and I do this. You do this, I do this. Mm -hmm. uh, we know we only gonna commit to each other but so much. Um, I'm gonna put my heart just this much on the line and it works for you and it works for me. But, you know, eventually I just had to accept that that wasn't for me and move on. So, and that's, I really, and then just came, became super focused. I am the most in control of myself when I'm not emotional. And when I'm approaching my you work. You over here preaching. <laughs> I'm serious. When I, when, when I, when I'm, when I'm. <laughs> she over there like. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm not, I don't, I, I'm, I don't, I'm like, God damn, go ahead though. You know, I'm, 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 I'm my best me at work when I'm not emotional, but I'm my best me at home I when I allow this, my feminine side to come through. I guess we could segue in a sense to like women choosing work over relationships. Cause I didn't, mm -hmm. I didn't have that topic written down, but as you're talking, mm -hmm. I'm sitting here listening like, you know what ladies, I'm going to, I'm going to explain this to you. I think I said this before, but I'm going to say it again. Um, I hate when women say that I'm focused on my career right now mm -hmm. and I don't have time for love. Like mm -hmm. you do know you can focus on you. Like I said, yep. you can focus on your career yep. and focus on dick too. And you know I'm so saying? happy that you're saying that because I don't want, now that I'm at this phase of my life, I don't want women to feel like they have to be that way because you get to a point where you separate your emotion from your logic. And when it's time to blend the two, you get brain fog. You don't think clearly. You don't make the right decisions. And it takes like a different uh, type of self-control when you're ready to merge them too. Go on, get used to it. But I Go on, get the dick, get the work, I think, I think, think y'all I think, I think y'all put too much, it's too much, to me, I think it's, it's too much thinking. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like it's really not that serious. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. no, like no real man with pure intentions is mm -hmm. trying to get in your way mm -hmm. of you getting your bag or getting your money or whatever you trying to do. Mo, I said the man with good intentions. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about niggas. I'm mm -hmm. talking about good men with good. They're not mm -hmm. trying to. They're not trying to come in the middle of that. You know the problem is is that you know we y'all. You know what? You know what? You know what? Y'all watch too much. Women watch what too a, much fucking TV. No, but what about this? What about this? Like, is is you had a long day at work? Um, I don't have it's a like, job. damn, I wish my baby. All right, let's just say you did. All right, we live in the same <laughs> lifestyle, so maybe, you know, we can job. relate. But just say, you know, you're one of the guys who liked me and I was in industry. And I did? You you know, just saying, no, not oh, you. I'm just say, saying, hypothetically speaking, listeners. Um, you she like came me? in here with her thigh out, though. You, I want y'all to, to know that. Like, she she came in here, like, I'm going to impress know. Clint today. I know I came in here dressed. And he is like going, I always he going, he going, nice. he going to get this today. Clint is just letting you guys know that he's impressed. I'm not, I wouldn't, I ain't saying that. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> um, Dang, you made me forget my thought with the flattery. Go ahead, God, um, God, come home from work. You come home from work. Yeah. You had a long day. Right. You might, you know, you might expect your woman to tend to you in a certain way. Maybe you just wanted to be there. Baby, can you come over? You know, I'm like, nah, I'm kind of in the studio uh, with Puff. It's 3 a.m. I'm Puff. still not home. Right. It's Diddy. You're in the studio with Diddy. Yeah. In the studio with Diddy. This dude, this this square dude is at home like, my chick is in the studio with Puff. How niggas think? Rich ass Puff. Yeah. They be thinking all kinds of shit. They think it's like the club, disco lights on, we smoke everywhere, it's a rock everywhere. Don't, the last thing they're thinking is that work is actually happening at 3 a.m. in the morning with a mogul and you working your ass off. And that's what's happening in real life. And then you come home to a guy that you couldn't cater to. You, 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 he had a long day. You wanted to treat him his best. I think that it's all about curbing your expectations, man. Like, I don't, mm. I don't expect anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, man, like, I, yo, I'm on the road every day, every weekend. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I come home. Yeah, I want, I want some, I want, I want to come home to some motherfucking breakfast. But I know mm -hmm. that that's not, that's not real life. And I think that, you know, I think that, you know, first of all, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna talk about this later about taking somebody's man or taking somebody's woman. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, man. Like as a man, if I don't work in the entertainment industry at all, and my girl is at the studio with Puff at three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I'm gonna assume, like, cause Puff, you know, like, it's Puff, nigga. Like, Puff ain't a bad looking dude, and the nigga got $500 million in his account. Like, if he wants to fuck my lady, I'm sure she gonna let him. Like, he need a girl to ride, ride, ride. He need, like, yeah. 
Yeah, my, my girl, you know, I, but, 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 but. Meanwhile, all. it's nothing like what you think. I'm sure, Meanwhile, no, I'm just saying if I'm a regular dude and, mm -hmm. I, and I work at fucking Chase Bank and you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I would mm -hmm. think that Puff is fucking my girl, but I think everything <laughs> is not for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't think that, you know, I think that, you know, we all make, like women always ask me why I'm single. Mm -hmm. Always ask me that. Always ask me. And I always get the, you know, you're like, oh man, you know, well, and, I, and, I, and I'm tired of women telling me like, oh, one day you'll find the right girl and blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, don't want to hear that shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? What it is, is, is I think that the problem is, is that, you know, like, well, okay. I think my case is different. So your case is, you know, you, you around famous niggas and, you know, they. There was a time where I'm, you know, a, a lot more reserved now. Right, right. But. Yeah, at yeah. any given time, I'm, you know, yeah, that's okay. around somebody who's prominent. Yeah, 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 for I'm sure. Around you right now. Yeah. <laughs> she she did right there. She tried, yeah, she tried you know, <laughs> say, uh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a good one. So look, right, I, I, I um, <laughs> but for me, it's more, so in, in my case, a lot of times, a lot of women who think I got a whole stack of groupies and, mm -hmm. you know, women, uh, you know, now I, I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie. Um. It, yeah, it, it happens. I see the groupies. But the they thing, be like, "Oh, you so fine." I am fine, man. I slid in oh, your yeah. DMs. Why Listen, you serve me? But here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, though, for me, like, but the thing is, it takes two to tango. Mm -hmm. It takes two to fuck. It does. Can't fuck by yourself. I mean, you can. I mean, it I does. have. I do it most of the time. But <laughs> it take. I mean, fuck it by yourself. Yeah, yeah. It takes two like to fuck. Right. It takes two to fuck. And my thing is, is that if I'm, if I am, if I'm, if I'm working mm -hmm. or if I, yo, just because a girl shoot a shot at me don't always mm -hmm. mean that I'm, I'm, look, man, mm -hmm. I, I don't, I don't need, I don't, I mean, I like pussy, but I don't, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, that doesn't like, mm -hmm. that's not my, my day. Like, that's mm -hmm. not what I, you know what I mean? And I think a lot of times, you know, we, we be getting, you know, girls be getting their feelings and, you know, I be like, yo, man, come on with the bullshit. What is uh, the definition, the definition of in your feelings? In, being in your feelings? That's a good question because I'm always in my feelings, man. I'm a, in, I'm a in your feelings dude. Yeah, fuck. What's your, what's your birthday? When you, my birthday's time? in, what's today? Today's the 5th? Oh, I'm t telling the damn pocket when I'm <laughs> Yeah, but anyway. So you're a birth Gemini? I'm a ge my birthday's on the 20th. Yeah. Okay. My birthday's on the 20th. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy Gemini season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't celebrate the whole Gemini. I don't I don't subscribe to that. <laughs> like I hate when people be like, oh, you a Gemini, and then they start like Turn up. Here's the thing, all right? Let's talk about Gemini trait for one second, all right? They, they always tell me Geminis have split personalities. Listen, who don't? Who don't? Who don't is a, is a fact. Who don't? Like, <laughs> if you say some bullshit to me. No, y'all switch whole. I'm going to Y'all not like personalities. Y'all like different people. Like, y'all have like, it's different things If you going piss on me off, Gemini. yes, I'm going to turn mean. And yes, mm. I'm going to I'm going to turn into the Incredible Hulk. Mm. Just, it, Are you like introvert, extrovert? Uh, I'm mainly an extrovert. A lot of people, you know, like. First of all, we live in a society too. Everybody's awkward. Everybody want to be awkward. You know, mm -hmm. Ace Ray made everybody, you know, I'm awkward. No, you're not. Mm -hmm. You're not awkward. You're not awkward. What, what you are is you just lack basic communication skills. <laughs> That's what you are. You don't, you're not awkward. You just don't, you, you don't, you, you act like you want to act. I'm awkward like, I'm awkward like, uh, like clumsy awkward. Yeah, I mean, not, not, not that's clumsy, <laughs> you know, awkward, but. Like, you know, I, I I mean, you know, for me, I mean, I'm an extrovert. I don't I don't pretend mm -hmm. to be an introvert. I love mm -hmm. people. I love being around people. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm but I'm just like anybody else. Some days I just want my space. Some days mm -hmm. I just want I, I just want to chill out, chill out, relax, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know? And and that's and that's and that's just the bottom line, you know. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that, you know? Mm -hmm. Um but um yeah, no, nah, I think uh, the definition of in your feelings though, I think it's more so like you make it something out of nothing. Okay. That's what in your feeling. When I tell somebody in your feelings, I'm like, yeah, Yo, you're making something out of, out of nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not a big deal. Like, why are you getting... What, what's the nothing rate? Like, how do we... At what now, point do we I, say is, something it, is saying, something? Telling somebody something is nothing is very dismissive mm -hmm. because because just because it's not a big deal to me doesn't mean it's not a big deal to you, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but I think nothing is like, yeah, like if a girl left hard eyes into my picture, like, what, what can like I do about trip. that? Oh, yeah. What the fuck? Can I, what can I do about that? Right. I can't do nothing about that. You can't do anything. I mean, I can, you know, like I, I never get. I had a chick that I was talking to. We weren't even in a relationship. Mm -hmm. We was just talking, mm -hmm. and she's like, uh, she was like, the next, she literally put under the chick comment, the next time you leave hard out, <laughs> it's gonna be me and you. Word. I'm like, God damn it! I was like, I hope that bitch fuck you up, yo. Like, what did you do? 
I told her about it. Like, what are you doing? Did you cut her off after that? After absolutely, you did. You had to. Nothing to talk about. Yeah. Let me ask you this. So you said, mm-hmm. you know, you said you 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 be you be you know you have you, you know you kind of like cut. When's the last time a guy's tried to talk to you and you like gave him some play? Um, recently. What what happened? Give me, we like details on this podcast. Don't just say recently. What, okay. What? The yeah. last time somebody talked to me and I gave them play me and I actually like he was he linked. saw you he you had your thigh out uh-huh. and he saw you okay and he's like yo yeah he he uh we saw each other and we met but he didn't holler at me where we were at okay like he didn't you know it was like kind of like a professional setting right 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 and um. And then later on, you know, the good old DMs slid in the DMs and oh. started a conversation and then we spoke and then we made plans to meet up and we met up. Right. We started a friendship. Wow. Um, and what, what happened? There? You just started a friendship? Um, we, we, he came That's to see me bullshit, at Grey because it's I'm, not. It's not. I'm not it's trying to not start no fucking friendship with you, man. You not? If, if I, I mean, I'm sure he was trying to, you know, I'm sure I he was slid, like, damn, I, I, I love to smack yeah, you. I know? slid in your DM. Why, why am I sliding your DM to be your friend? I mean, I don't think he was trying to be. Obviously, he was you trying to be put, more than friends, friend. you know? Yeah, and then we became friends. And that's it. I allowed him to be my friend. People slide in my DMs a lot. I, you don't I, have to I, let everybody in your life that want to be your friend. You know how draining people are? I get Clint, that, how man. many things do you do? I know you have like a whole list of stuff to do. That's, yeah, but I'm just You don't let every... You just going to talk. You going to sit and talk no, to every No, no, but if DM. I... Inter- like, okay. If a girl slides in my DM, I think she's fine. I, mm-hmm. I'm, I respond, mm-hmm. hey... Hey, hey, mm-hmm. hey! You know, you saying hey? I'm saying hey. You know, um, next thing. So, what do you want to know? No, it's just like if I'm entertaining. If I entertain the hey, mm-hmm. then that means that I know you're not trying to be my friend. I'm not trying to be your friend. I'm not. I'm, I'm not, interested in. Okay, I, I was. I'm not letting you slide. I'm not like if if I look if you slide in my DM and 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 we and you we're not like we're just cool mm-hmm. like or I'm just like, uh, like yeah we could be friends like mm-hmm. no. That's mm-hmm. not that was the that wasn't the purpose. Mm-hmm. I could have asked to be your friend in the comments. In the comments section, I could have said, let's well, be friends. The well, DM is there's for- a way to do everything. You can't just be like, see, that's some fuck boy shit. Like, what's he supposed to be like, hey, what's up? I like yeah. you. I think I want to fuck. No, he, he's not supposed to say that. Right. But he can say, hey, I want to take you out. He, that's what then, he said. Yeah, he okay. said he's, but he, so he when found he says, the time to say okay. when he says I want to take you out, he's not saying I want to take you out to be your homie. Okay. So what's wrong with that? I'm trying to disagree with you some way. I'm it's, trying to get you some It's attention. a lot wrong with that. Okay. Because Let's get into it. Why would you go out with him if you just want to be his friend? Who said? But I mean, what's the level so of friends? It, okay. 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 I wanted to get to know him. I was intrigued. And then what happened? We linked and we were intrigued by each other. Did y'all... Did y'all... Did we end up... Yeah. Having sex is yeah, what you're yeah, asking? Yeah. We ended up being intimate. Yes. First of all, why you got okay? Look, I get it. You're an educated sister. Look, we we say fucking on this podcast, okay. all right? We I don't, don't say we I don't, don't say, wanna, I don't like don't, to speak we, like we that. Don't, we, look, I don't like to you, say I fucked. You know what I mean? You did listen, you ain't make love to the nigga. Okay. You fucked him. Okay. All right. This is a whole and we were into You don't know. No, you weren't. Okay, were you were y'all okay? Was, was, <laughs> were, were y'all listening to music when you did this? I'm not prepared. I, I told you you um, prepared when you got here. Yeah, we were listening to music. What kind of music was on while you was when you were R- 90s R and B straight? So up. y'all were okay, so they maybe they was being intimate. That's intimate. That's intimate as fuck, yo. Okay, y'all y'all still, you know? Yeah, we cool. No, that's are y'all still Clint. This, I can't disclose all this information. You, it ain't like we saying a nigga name. Like, you know what I mean? Okay. The reason so then y'all not you're not his friend. You're more than his friend. You y'all I don't know. I don't talk about I I hadn't even I ain't even try to say yo. I'm more than your friend. But you are. If y'all, if, first of all, look. If you have sex, y'all more than friends. Okay. Like let's let's cut the bullshit. If you have sex, with, I'm gonna look at the camera when I say this too. If you have sex with me, you and I are more than friends. I'm not saying that we go together. Okay. I'm not saying I'm your man, and I'm not saying you my girl. I'm saying is when you introduce me to your friends, you don't introduce me as this is my friend Clint, because my friend Clint means you know we we pals. If I seen the crack of your ass, I'm not your pal. All right. So what if are I, we? Wait, what are hold on. If I see if I seen the crack of your ass, I'm not your You're pal. You're lovers. I'm your no, we're not lovers. Okay, so when you introduce me, let's say we had sex. Hey, this is Clint. Uh-huh. So, ladies, when you introduce a nigga that you fuck, so okay, let's let's get this straight real quick. When you introduce a guy that you that you are that's your legit friend or a guy you fucked. 
When you introduce your That's friend, right. say, hey, this is my friend. So everybody else knows you are you are not off limits. We I'm can talk so to you. private and personal. If I'm you, like Fort Knox with my if shit. You say, if you say, if you say, hey, this is Clint, y'all, this is Clint. I'm going to assume we y'all fucked. So yeah, man. If we if we have sex, we are not friends. You are you are you are you something to me. Mm -hmm. You something. So any woman out there that's ever had sex with me, I got women that call try to. I call I, I don't I don't consider myself nothing. I wouldn't consider myself nothing. Yeah. I just I don't know, man. I'm a weirdo, man. I'm different. First of all, there's nothing wrong with being like Fort Knox. I'm not. I don't right. go. I don't come on here and, and disclose my sex life. I right. disclose that I have sex, right. that I've had sex, right. that I'm not a virgin. This is right. what we doing. But I'm not sitting here saying, "Hey, I'm fucking this girl that this girl from Charlotte," or you mm -hmm. know what I mean. I'm not saying that. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that. I'm not mm -hmm. saying I'm fucking this girl from New York. I'm not saying I'm fucking. I'm not. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just. This is just you know. Mm -hmm. We just we we having a conversation, mm -hmm. which leads into the next conversation. I'm glad we talked about what are we. Mm -hmm. I got a question. Mm -hmm. Um. When do you know when y'all official? Mm, that's a good question. When Clint. do you know? Okay. When do you know that y'all are official? How do you do that? Do guys even still ask? Like me, I'm going to tell you this right now. Ladies, if you with me and you like me and we've been talking, we've been dating for a little while, I'm, I'm old school. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you to be my lady. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make it a, uh, an event. Mm -hmm. I'm going to I'm gonna figure some shit out. I'm going to do some cute shit. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say, hey, do you want to be my girlfriend? Yes, or no. I might even, shit, if, if I want to announce it to Instagram, I'm going to do one of them little whiteboards. I'm going to ask you to be my girlfriend, all right? Mm -hmm. Do you want to be my girlfriend? I don't know when we're official because nowadays, apparently, guys don't ask to be your girlfriend. Nowadays, it's you you, you know we official. How the fuck am I supposed I'm, to know? How am I supposed to know? Like, I never get one time I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you what happened. I made a mistake. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. And the girl I'm dating at the time, we we're all we're we're all out. And I introduced her to some some friends of mine. I said, "Hey, this is my girlfriend. This is my girlfriend. This is my girlfriend." And oh, she, oh Lord. later on, she is like, "So I'm your girlfriend now?" I'm like, <laughs> I was like, "Yeah." yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, it's, I mean, cause I didn't want to introduce you and be weird and be like, oh, this is my chick. This is my, you know what I mean? Like, so you did it like at the McDowell's house when the nigga with the Jerry curl yeah, was like, yeah, I was like, yo, this is I my girlfriend. I just proposed. And she, she said, yeah. She let me know that she is, she was not my girlfriend. Like she, mm. she gave it, she, she kept it all the way far. He's like, look, I'm not your girlfriend. You know, we just, I was a very harsh mind. She hit me on some if men troll the truth shit. Like, you know, the little mm. videos like, yo, look. I'm not your girlfriend. You are not. You don't do boyfriend shit. Mm. You will never be my boyfriend. Ooh. I like what we're doing. We're having sex. We're going to the movies and we're eating food. Anything else other than that, you know, we can talk about that another time. But don't just go around telling motherfuckers I'm you my man when you're not my goddamn man. True. And all I, like it, it was it was such a man. Fuck her, man. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, fuck her. Yeah. Fuck her, man. She gave it to you like that. But yeah. she was honest. I gotta respect but, that. But you know what? The, the, that's how you know. You know when a man makes a gesture and asks you. So my question is, when's the last time you had a boyfriend? It seems like Ooh. 30 years at this point. It's, God damn, it might be like 38. <laughs> um, I haven't had a boyfriend. I had a boyfriend for like two weeks last year, and what which is really hilarious. This is this is a hilarious. Let's hear the story. story. Yeah, see. Um, I had a friend. We were friends for a very long time. Uh, when I moved to California, he tried to like he was like taking me out and. He had a girlfriend, and he was doing like courting type of things with me. What had it when he had a girlfriend? Yeah. You ever had? You ever dated a guy with a boyfriend? Yeah, a long time ago. I'm cool with that? Yeah. yeah, I'm not cool with that. I was young. I had an experience. I wouldn't do it now. Okay. Ever. So, um. If you with a married man too? Never. Just just boyfriend. Just boyfriend. It wasn't even a boyfriend. It was like some hood shit and a baby mother. Okay. You know, and some Every, and we together, but we not together, yeah, but we yeah, together. I but I got a whole nother apartment I that I live with with you. And then, yeah, it was a wow. whole thing. So you was living with... So anyway, I wasn't living, just the space was there. Um, moving on. That's some old, old trauma. Um, <laughs> back to this guy. We're friends for years. Guy tried to talk to me kind of before, but we were always kind of like friend zoned. Right. Got to LA, was taking me around, showing me out. So I'm like, you got a girl, and I feel like... Uh, this would be a little weird if she found out you were kicking it with me like this. Don't you think she would be upset? He says, 
you know, he felt like they weren't going to last. So I'm like, well, I'm not going to be the girl that right. you're, no, nah, you're not going to tell me right. we finna break up. She ain't the one just to try to fuck me on the low. So, you know, we were cool. And he really literally ended up leaving the girl alone. Okay. And then he and I linked up. Like he talked to me, told me he broke up, you know, told right. me I should give him a chance or whatever. And I decided to give him a chance and, you know, mm -hmm. we courted, but it was just like immediately right back to that thing I was telling you about. Right, 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 it was right. like, he could sense that my work was really important. And this guy was a narcissist. I mean, like, every day, shirt off on the gram. Every day, got to flex his muscles. Every day, needing the attention. Every day, looking for this. But, I'm but, taking my shirt off. Fuck that. Fuck it. I mean, take it off. Do you. But I'm just letting you know the type of person he was. So the fact that all of my attention wasn't on him, it came off as if it bothered him. And... Like, so this, all right, come see. He would say, all right, can you come see me tonight? I'm like, cool, I got a meeting. I'll be done with my meeting. When I'm done with my meeting, I'll come see you. I'm done with my meeting at 10, 30, 11. Right. I'm on my way back to our side of town. I call you. Right. You have an attitude because I took my meeting and didn't put you first, and now I don't talk to you for the rest of the night. Mm -hmm. And then I felt like he started doing petty things then to, like, get reactions out of me. But I'm a centered, like you said, I'm a centered person. Like, if I got to give you negativity, I'll break up with you. And I felt like he, he, needed, he needed negativity from me to know that he was important he needed me to be going off on him and sometimes that's the best way to let people know you care man i mean <laughs> yeah but we're adults at this but i get point, it you, you right. know and so, so i told for two him weeks. yeah it was like it was stupid like he was making all of these crazy promises to me and then <laughs> one day this it was like he was making, where girls get their shit off their chest about yeah, he, was, they, like, he was making all these crazy wild promises to me like yo i could see kids with you i could see this and that. yeah i'm talking about we belong together type shit and the oh, minute damn, by the way and bro. then <laughs> The weekend came around, so I had I went home for a visit, and I came back, and he was talking all this shit, talking big shit. The FaceTimes was crazy mm -hmm. when I was home. All mm -hmm. this, I miss you shit, it was crazy. So I got back. He's like doing everything right, like, oh, I'm finna make sure I drive and pick you up from the airport. I'm going to take the day off of work, spend the day with you, spend the, that week with you. And then that weekend came, and um, he was telling me, like, for this guy to be talking so much shit, the weekend came, I was expecting like, you know, you were out of town. Let me take you out on Friday. Friday came and I hit him and he's talking about how he was on his way to Vegas. So I was like, okay, cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, dang, no invite. Like we were talking a lot of shit. I thought we was going to be kicking. And he was like, it ain't even like that. I'll be right back. So mind you, this is off of like. A oh, word, you want to take your late meeting? A oh, word, you want to mm -hmm. you want to be unavailable and you not all up my ass like I'm used to and you not sweating me like I'm used to these girls sweating me? It almost felt like a, ah, I got something for your ass. Okay, okay. You want to be cool with your emotions? You want to be you want to be the chicken in control of yourself? All right, cool. Watch me set your ass off. Then he went to Vegas and I'm like, all right, cool. You know, do your thing. I was like, I'm going to be home not feeling right. well. Yeah, I was like, I'm not <laughs> feeling well. I'm telling the story. I'm passionate. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, he's like, um, he's like, um, I'm like, you know, do you? I was like, I haven't been feeling well. I just need to get some sleep anyway, so I probably won't even be on the gram. But I, so I was like, text me if you need me. So he like, cool. I'll be back tomorrow. Though. I'll be for sure. I'll see you tomorrow. So I'm like, cool. So I wake up like in the middle of the night because I fell asleep super early because I wasn't feeling well. It's like four or something. I wake up and you know you grab your phone, you start scrolling. So I'm going through the stories and he's like, there's a girl. He's in Vegas. There's a girl in front of him, super entertaining him. Like, oh, she giving him all the dances. So he got the phone. He reaching out from behind the phone, reaching for it. Like, yeah, do that for me. And I'm like, I just told this nigga that, dang, I wish I could have went with you. Have a good time. He told me it wasn't like that. He'll be right back. You know, he knows that we. I wanted to spend some time. And the thing that he decides to put on his gram is a girl dancing for him and him reaching for her like he's yearning for this bitch. Like, oh, yeah, you really doing it for me. And I didn't even get mad. I was just like, um, it took a a, a, a real lack of, um, what, what did I tell him? I just said, wow, it took, it took um, I forgot the word I hit him with, but I hit him with some, some like real mature shit. I feel like, like oh, Dr. Okay. Phil right now, yo. I was like, oh, okay. I said, um... <laughs> I said, oh, okay, it took a lack of empathy for you to post that, knowing that I'm at home not feeling well, and I wanted to, you know, kick it with you. And I just left it at that, and we didn't really speak for a week, and he came back with some super uber petty, like, he took me through some super petty shit to the point I was like, hey, friend. I was like, we've been friends for a long time. Let's just, I, I think we should stay friends, and right. I'm going to just leave you where you at. Yeah. And then that was it. Have, yeah, and I, 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 I never talked to him again.
Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. Well, I say well, the whole. The, I guess the whole point is, well, how did y'all know when? Did, like, the, we he, went he through that like, whole story, and I'm, he was like, "It's a rap for you. I'm shutting it down. It's me and you." That's what he said. He said it's a rap for you. This is us. We doing this. That's how you. That's how. That's how he. That's, he just said that. Yeah. Niggas get away with that. You can say that. Hey, I'm, 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 you ain't, no, no, no. I mean, it wasn't like we have a rapport. You got to know this well, person. Like we've known. I've known this person for a very long I, I time. I hear you, so. but I didn't. Know, okay, you, you, you know. My, it wasn't like I'm taking you out here, goes flowers and all that shit. I got a question. My producer, you, you know, my, everybody knows my producer. Mm -hmm. My producer's gay. That's my guy, though. Oh, all right. Okay. So listen, you, you. I mean, he's you in a situation right now, right? Are y'all, are y'all boyfriend and boyfriend? Y'all. Who asked who? You asked, what did you, well, how did you make him your boyfriend? What did you say? You said what? You just asked. You was like, hey, you, you want, you know, we, you know, we, we've been, we've been, you know, we've been sword fighting for a little. No. <laughs> I cannot stand that. <laughs> Let's take this to a new level. <laughs> but I'm joking. But no, so you asked him to be your boyfriend. That's dope. Yeah, like, I feel like a lot of girls, ladies, how do guys, I, you know, when you, if you're watching this, ladies, how do guys ask you to be their girlfriend? So the girl, the guy was like, yo, it's a rap for you. He was just like, yo, uh, it's a rap for you. Like, so if I say to you, if I like, say to you after we get off, yo, it's a rap for you, yo. I'm, I mean, it was more conversation to it than that, but that's how he brought it up. Like, all right, so if I say- Me and you, so, it's exclusive. He asked me what the rules were. So we getting off this podcast, hey, yo, Carmen, it's a rap for you, mm -hmm. all right? You, you <laughs> shutting all that down, all right? We go together now? No, it has to be some intimate. Come on, come on. Of course not, Clint. I get it. No. Your ass is being silly. Um, yeah, but that's how it happened. But I'm not. I don't have time for the. I don't have time for the bullshit. Like every girl says, that I haven't time for the bullshit. And you know what you got time for? The bullshit. Bullshit. We do. Some, yeah, we do. <laughs> every woman's like, I don't because got time for bullshit. You have to. You, you have got to. Time for if bullshit. You want to be a woman. You gotta. Who have time. you have? You have. You want to be a woman who has a family, has a love life, all that. You gotta have time for the bullshit. You gotta allow yourself to go through the bullshit. Right. right. You gotta allow yourself to bump the head, or you bump your head with somebody and, and get over it, or you're gonna just stay stuck in this little lonely ass box, and that shit is right, not right, fun. Right. You gonna have box. cats. Be real. Right. You are gonna end up with. You cats. got cats at your apartment? No. Okay. I don't like cats. I don't like the way they smell. Okay, me. You got a dog? No. Okay, I'm not a dog lover either. <laughs> no, but I, I think that's a great question. I think that we we should definitely start dialing in. When do you? How do you know you're in a relationship? Like for me, um, like yeah. So I try to ask now. I don't assume that we together no more. Mm -hmm. You know. Now, do ladies? Do y'all? Do you? Have you ever asked? Do y'all ask the guys to be y'all boyfriend? I avoid that conversation like the plague. What do you, the I plague? What yeah, plague? I, I like that's the old seven old plagues. Person. Yeah. How do you, like, you can't, look, wait, first of all, let's, let's, that's a dumbass saying. It's some, to it, make, blame the person who made it. In this Egypt, up. they couldn't avoid the plagues. God was coming, motherfucker. Like, the, you tried, though. You, 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 you be at home do praying that Do y'all remember the seven come. plagues? I, like, you know, I read the Bible, but there's seven of them. There was the plague of frogs. Niggas, there was frogs no. popping up everywhere. There was I, the plague I, of locusts. I, I think I'm, I think I'm. There was a, darkness. I don't like that conversation. There was blood in the water. Like, yeah, nigga. Did, and you would avoid that shit if you knew it was coming. Then, I you? think it was, the, if you didn't put the blood of lamb on the door, then, <laughs> you, which is Passover, you know, the ain't the, the Nigga, the you plague know. of death. Nigga, if you first... if you knew that was coming, wouldn't you try to avoid it? Yeah, but. Yeah. Okay. 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 okay all right. That makes sense. Okay. Exactly. It makes sense. Okay. You can avoid that one. But the other one, nigga, it, it, it was it was it was it was locust. It was locust, shit. But yeah, man, I I, I don't know. I, Why do you I'm try to avoid I that think question? I'm afraid of, because you afraid to, you afraid to get pressure. played? pressure. Yeah, I'm afraid to get played. Um, you know, nobody wants to have because I feel like when I haven't had enough men be be into me to know like, mm -hmm. you know, this man really wants to be with me. You know. Mm -hmm. You know, men, men that want to be with you, they act a certain way. Men that aren't ready to be with a certain person, they act I a certain way. Sometimes it's because they're scared. Sometimes it's because they just don't want that shit. Right, right, right. You know, maybe I they agree with that. You know, I agree with that. I don't. I, I don't know how you know though. It's been a long time. Yeah, man. I gotta. I gotta figure out. Like, yeah, like we we gotta we gotta really hone in on like when do you know y'all together? You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, you know, my man. We was he was on the podcast. My man. Uh, he was from on. on uh, uh, give a yacht mm -hmm. on the uh, Make Up the Breakup series, which is y'all need to be make sure y'all watch that on mm -hmm. uh, June. It's coming out June 24th, coming out on YouTube. It's uh, produced by BET. Mm -hmm. um, 
But uh, my man, he uh, he was talking about he was talking to this chick for the past seven months, mm -hmm. and it's like y'all talking for seven months, mm -hmm. like 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 that's a long ass time to be fucking talking. What are y'all talking about for seven months? Does anybody make it like what things become? I mean, of course things become official. Like we just watched Michelle get married. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, Michelle, no. Michelle yeah, got yeah, yeah, married. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but like, do things like the officialness of things? It just seems like people just like it vague these days because there's so many options. I feel like. How many options you? I got. I love options. I got. I got options. I can't lie. Yeah. yeah. I got roses popped up at my house today. I didn't even know. For real, from, you got from, roses. From good friends, somebody I never slept with. This is what I'm saying. I don't send roses. Got roses, you know, from shit. a friend who was what like, they, "What okay, color were they? Were they red or yellow?" A red bouquet of flowers that showed up at my house today. Damn. Somebody I'm not sleeping with. That's Been be cool nice. with for a long time. Hey, nigga, you are fucking ain't giving you roses. No, he hasn't given me no. flowers. <laughs> no, it's true. So, fellas, first of all, I want, I want to throw that out there, man. Don't be it's out true. here buying flowers for chicks you ain't. I mean, with. let's 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 no. not. I don't know. No. That word, me, less fucking, is just such a such a harsh word. It is. Fucking is harsh. Sometimes you fuck. And some, you okay, know, what do you want me to? You want me to? You okay, have you your experience. You want me to? You want me to cur curve that? You, you want have experience. Okay, you want me to start saying intimate. So the guy you're intimate with. <laughs> well, I have the, mo the person who I've most recently been intimate with. Put it flowers. like that. He doesn't buy you flowers. He didn't buy me flowers. I'm sure he doesn't. He didn't. Because he ain't for But the, you know what? Sometimes. What Rick Ross say? Call that other lane. You know what? It's so to hard <laughs> to, um, it really is when you're a dominant person who is used to getting what they want and having what they want, it's really hard to tell yourself no when you know that you like something and you want it. And. Certain people fit the bill, like, like a person who a you? person who approaches you, and you know that they just want to fall head over heels in love with you right now. That's a lot. It's a lot. It's annoying, and it comes off as a lot. Yeah. And but a person who is open to let you be yourself, and like you exploring, and it's not no pressure to me. I'm less afraid of hurting you and hurting myself in that situation, but it don't. I always end up hurting myself in that situation because you can't control your feelings. Yeah, you can. Like you get to mm, maybe for a woman. Yeah. I mean, maybe for a man, but for a woman, it's it's a little different to me. Yeah. I don't believe that. I believe that women who just be having sex, banging a dude, is something that was going on for you just right, to right, emotionally. Right, right, That's right. the part of your body you have. You carry babies in, like right, 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 right. You, right. you you're not gonna tell me that when you have sex, you're not gonna. Uh, have an emotional attachment and I think the heavy duty emotional attachment thing is a little scary right now right. because mm -hmm. I don't want to give up my dream and it, it, I don't want to give up my dream I've been programmed to think it's one or the other and that's sad it's not yeah and it's not one or the other I'm I programmed to feel the same way and there's probably mm -hmm. women that listen to this podcast that talk to me like yo Clint's the same exact way mm -hmm. I'm very like I'm I'm but you could do both it's, it's a way to do the both you know um mm -hmm. but I just think uh for me like I gotta like we gotta have clarity on when, on how you know what I think nowadays I think I think people try to sneak it in like let me see where I stand with this person um like I know girls yeah, don't leave sneak. stuff they leave stuff at the crib yeah don't sneak no shit let in me, me see yo I but that leaving shit at the crib shit ain't cool cause I know dudes that will hide your toothbrush I know dude boots. I am that dude that will throw your shit in put the your, fucking trash your, can your, 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 your toothbrush I will throw your, my homeboy told me that he hid he hides the toothbrushes in shoes listen let me tell you something inside throw, of shoes I don't hide I throw away toothbrushes, I throw away earrings, mm -hmm. I've thrown away shirts, I've thrown away scarves, Tossing. I've thrown away who the fuck who the fuck do you think you are? Mm -hmm. No, I don't I don't even do that. But yeah, girls, so girls will leave little hints and then mm -hmm. and I'm like, nah, nah. Like and then they'll come back over like, yo, my mm -hmm. yeah, it's not here. Mm -hmm. Man. It's not here. I feel bad because I feel like I keep going Dr. Roof on you and this shit. Yeah, you are. And it's, okay. Am, no, it's okay. No, like, <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. Like, all right. It's all good. What you you left some shit at nigga house and he threw your shit away? No. Okay, you threw some nigga shit away. No. Do guys leave shit at girls' houses on purpose? I've never done that. <laughs> I get all my stuff. Somebody I left their box. Somebody left their boxes at my house. You think that was on purpose? I was absolutely. How you leave the? <laughs> how you leave your drawers? How you leave your drawers? How you leave your drawers? I've I, like literally when I'm if I'm at a girl's house like I, I've I've accidentally left like a phone charger or something like that mm -hmm. but that's a charger that could be anybody's mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. <laughs> but I don't leave like my sneakers mm -hmm. my pants my drawers my mm -hmm. jewelry my shirt you ain't leaving you don't want her to think it's, it's, it's nothing huh I leave I don't leave no trip are I, you afraid of relationships no I, I no? won't be I'm not, I'm not I'm, what afraid what the okay. fuck is this? What, come on. just asking you no I, I want to get married mm-hmm 
you see his voice cracked when he said that. I don't know. The thing is, man, it's not that I'm afraid of religion. I just don't. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I ain't. I just. I, it's some scary shit, bro. It's not about being scared. It's scary, I, I, I don't want to talk about that. It's just like it's, see, uh-huh. I it's, it's more. People. It's more. It's more so like for me. Like I just like I like. I am a. You know. I just, you know, I just, you know, when it happens, it happens. I'm not, I'm not, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying myself, man. I enjoy. I think I'm scared to have the conversation and I, and I play the passive role when it comes to that because, um, I don't know. I just, nobody wants to be curved out of it being a good time. So if it's not, if you're not finna be my man and I'm not finna overthink this, Let's enjoy this without the pressure of yeah. me feeling like you finna force me into something. Let's just fuck and go to the movies. Yeah. And get something to eat. What is, like, that's, that, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Then whatever happens after that is, is you know, it's whatever. Um, you know, here's my next question. This is mm-hmm. the last topic I kind of want to bring. And we're going to be brief with this. Mm-hmm. Question. How long, how long, how often do you need to hear from somebody while y'all just dating? Mm. So, like, when you're just talking, how, long, how often mm-hmm. do you feel like you need to hear from the person? Um, I don't need to hear from you every single day. I don't mm-hmm. need to hear from you every morning. I'm not mm-hmm. that chick. Right. But when I reach out to you, I want to hear back. Or I want to know that I crossed your mind. You know, respond right, to some right, shit. Right, right, right. I, it need to be, it, it need to be right. some form of communication where I just don't feel like... It depends on what type of friends you are too, though, because right. some people only talk right before they hook up. Hey, what's up with you? You know, some people... Right, you know, you're a little more cool with them than that. Right, so, right, right, right. For me... Yeah, I guess it depends on your rapport. I mean... I, I, if I don't think? hear from you for three days, I assume like we ain't talking no more. Yeah, it gets like that. If I don't hear from you, like I mean, I think it's I, too much. Yeah, if I don't hear from you for like three three days, mm-hmm. I think three days is a good way to say like you know what we we ain't because like what happens mm-hmm. is you know after like two or three days, what'll happen is like somebody will be like ah oh, man the per- other person that hasn't reached out probably like damn mm-hmm. they probably don't want to hear from me blah 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 blah. Yeah, it makes you think things. Do y'all know that how many relationships y'all like could have y'all 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 blocking from just not talking for it yeah, what <laughs> like, is that what is it i saw a meme that said it's it's the standoff like if, when you got good pussy and he got good dick it's the standoff to see like it's yeah. always a standoff to see who gonna hit who first right, so exactly, exactly you know exactly exactly that's exactly what it is it's just so weird though like why exactly. do people do that that's exactly what connections it is. could be so amazing if you just allowed yourself communi- to communicate but everybody's scared these days it is girls are treating niggas like how niggas used to treat girls niggas and are the new and that's bitches. why i said y'all proud of it y'all proud of playing somebody's son mm. but you ain't playing me i'm not you ain't playing me. But since when did do you think what happened was that guys went into oh shit is sundress mode so much that the women just started catching on to it like no, that's these not niggas happened. ain't about shit this summer. That's you know, not, come September he's gonna that's not what happened. skate off. Women women finally got control of themselves and got control of 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 they got control of the situation and realized like yo like I don't need this nigga and I don't mm-hmm. need to you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. like that's really what it is. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. It's like, yo, I don't need, like, I want to be in control of the situation. I'm not leaving it. I'm not leaving it up to chance at this point. And that's where we, and that's where we are today. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay mm-hmm. with women liberating themselves and saying, oh, fuck that. You're like, no, you're not. But now I ain't letting you play me, sis. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's just the bottom line. So this is the part of the uh, show. I we- feel like women, it don't matter what type of time of year you meet. If I meet a good connection, I'm not cutting you off just because it's about to get cold. Well, I mean, we talked about that on on in, in, on the Chicago podcast, right? You know, like yeah, no, I I I, I agree with that. I yeah, I, I personally want to be with somebody during the summertime, but you know, whatever. I, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't cut nobody off because it gets warm. I'm not like that, play that's, you according to the season. That's crazy. But well, I mean, it's it's it, it's been it's happens. It happens. Yeah. It's been happening. Mm-hmm. So this is the uh, part of the podcast. It's called Ask Clint. Mm-hmm. So Ask Clint. Pretty much, people write in dumbass questions, mm-hmm. and uh, I give my advice, and you give your advice. All right, and uh, we'll go from there. How long we been talking? My uh, hey, how long we been talking? He over there talking to her. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um. All right, so here we go. It says, uh, "It says, hey Clint." I like reading it like that. Hey Clint, uh, that's me. Mm-hmm. It says, hey Clint. First of all, just want to say. That I appreciate your ass, Clint, because you keep them anonymous and nobody nobody has to know my business. Real quick, I'm going to just get straight to the point. It says, uh, I've been dating this guy now for six months. All right. I've been dating, wait, I've been dating this guy for six months. I like him. He likes me. I'll, I don't want to ask him where this, go, where this is going, but 
I want to know where this is going. Mm. So how do I how do I ask him but not ask him where this is going? Please thank you. So I purposely talked about, you know, mm. like when do you know when you're in a relationship for the, mm -hmm. you know, and knowing that this was the topic. Mm -hmm. Um for for you though, you want to ask him. You want to ask you him. You want to ask him. I, Does it turn a man off when no, you ask just, him? I, I don't know. It doesn't turn me off. You you asking the question. Mm -hmm. The worst thing I could say is no. Mm -hmm. The worst thing I can say is I can give you an answer you don't want to hear. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, because... I think that's a thing. Yeah, that's the thing, yeah. Because for me, I think that, you know, I, I sh you, the only way you're going to get an answer to a question is, is asking the question. Mm -hmm. That's the only way you're going to get an answer. You mm -hmm. never get an answer by not asking. You know what it is? It's like... You start having sex with the person and that shit is good and you might be hooked on the dick and you don't really want to ask where it's going because you know if that nigga tell you it's not going anywhere, you're going to still want the dick and you're going to feel stupid you're about feel it. Dumb as a you're going to feel really stupid about it at that point. Right. And I think that's why, because people just want to hold on to the part that feels good. They don't even want to know about the part that's, just don't even tell me about the fucked up shit. Like, this shit right here is good. Like... But I don't know if that's how you develop a relationship. I might not be the relationship girl. Yeah, in my in my opinion, <laughs> ask. in my opinion, I think that you should. I think you should ask. I think asking is the only way you're mm -hmm. going to get the answer that you really want because mm -hmm. it's you, you, yeah, that's the only way you're going to get a, get an answer. Mm -hmm. like, uh, that's the only way you're going to get a clear, concise answer mm -hmm. is asking the question. If you, you don't ask, what's the point? You know what I'm saying? You know what? I, I can't really speak from experience like that because I haven't rushed into any relationships in a long time. Yeah. But I think when I got to the point, my logic, like when I got to the point where I really wanted to know or mm -hmm. I wanted to be in a relationship. Because sometimes you don't even know that you want to be in a relationship when you meet somebody. Right. And then that person opens you up and you're like, you know what? I fucks with this feeling. I kind of, you yeah. might not be the person I'm going to make my man, but I'm fucking with this feeling. But I'm kind of ready to be you, loving I, on somebody. Yeah. You know, I think it might be good to let that person know that you're ready for more. And if they don't give them, they'll, may, they'll let you know maybe that they like, all right, cool. I'm fucking with you. Cause like, you just, you gotta let I, them know. I, I, I'm about to start ask. seeing other people, you, you know, ask. just you wanted to ask. let you know, baby, that I might close start dating other people. Closed mouths don't get fed. That's true. Bottom line. Like if you like somebody, why don't, why ain't you asking Ask the fucking question. That's true. Ask the question. You don't want to mess the vibe up. That's I why. Mean, you don't want to put if, unnecessary pressure. If, if me pressure. asking a question messes the vibe That's up. That's a woman that you want to be your woman if have me, to ask if you. If you asking, listen, ladies, if you asking a question messes the vibe up, then that it means wasn't good. there was no vibe right. in the first but place. But here's the thing. If you want a woman to be your woman, do you think that she's going to have to ask you for her to feel that from you? I think that you don't really have to ask that. No, question I they just, I've, I have girls. I have I've had a girl that I wanted to. I want to be my woman, and mm -hmm. I'm just. I know for me, I'm just not ready to be in a relationship because what I got going on is a lot, and I just don't want to do it. That has it has right. nothing to do with her. Mm -hmm. You know, some it's a lot of times the person who's she should ask him that. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and and maybe I'm just giving him. I'm just giving him a bit of a doubt, but I think she should. She should ask where it's going. Like, hey, what are we? You know. Yeah, if she. If you don't know what you're doing and you becoming emotionally evolved and you feeling like you losing control, definitely yeah, talk to that ask. man. Talk to that, that man. Can't hurt. You know what? You know what? I'll be telling my homegirls too, and it's some of the best advice I give it to myself too. Don't fear the rejection. Don't don't fear to know. I've been saying this. You gotta like. That's, that's not. That's not. Put your, your girls. That's not profound I'm advice. Not saying, like, but, you know why it's I'm profound? Teasing, 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 because so many women are worried about the rejection that they don't just have fun and flirt and go on, girl, go ahead, flirt with that nigga at the bar. Go ahead, talk to this one. You know, like have fun. Like don't be afraid that you're gonna get. Don't be so afraid that you're gonna get curved that you're afraid to cultivate something that could be fun. Mm -hmm. You know, so don't be afraid of the no. And if you at the point where you know your emotions are getting the best of you, sis, just go ahead and talk to him. Don't be afraid of the no. Right. But the no can mess you up. Like, okay, for instance, say the woman that you want to be a woman, she talked to you about it. Right. And you tell her, I'm not ready right now. What if she take that like you bullshitting and hurt and your no, be, turn, like be like, dang, makes her be like, he don't she, really she, want she, me. She should do that. She should do that. She should do that. That's not, I, I don't Did you think... go back and get her when you was ready? I don't go back and get anybody. Ooh. Because I, I'm not, I'm not. That's selfish. We're not mm -hmm. on my time. We're on our time. Okay. That's how I feel. Like I'm not on. You're not on my time, and I'm not on your time. We're on each other's time. And mm -hmm. I would never like, in, in, you know, that's that's wasting somebody's time. So so hang with me now. No, if if you ask me where's this going, I tell you right now we're not going in a relationship. And you saying I need more? Then go go free. Oh, go you free know what I'm yourself. Saying? All right, she asked you. You say I want you to be my woman, but just not right now. Then that's her choice. 
If she if she say, okay, just not right now. I'm a date. When you ready. If a girl says that to me, I'm out. You out. So I yeah. gotta hang in there with you the whole time. No, ride I'm out. Until... If you say I wanna be your, I wanna be a girl from just right not right now, I'm, i mean, Oh, you out. I'm out. Yeah. I'm out. I feel you. I'm out. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's that's just me though. I'm out. But again, I don't I'm not selfish enough to to not expect that return. So if I tell a woman like, yo, I wanna be your man, just not right now, if she wanna be out, shh. So full circle, what's wasting somebody's time if you really, really like them? I, you're not wasting nobody's time if you like them. The only okay. time you're wasting somebody's time is if you don't like them. Okay. That's every person's fear. Or if y'all got different expectations of right. liking each other. That, 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 I think we all, I think we all don't, we all have ways that we like each other, if that makes sense. Right. Like, I think that liking somebody, it looks differently from you. From mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had to tell this girl, like, look, don't tell me I don't like you. You just don't like, you don't, I don't like you the way you want me to like you. Mm-hmm. Just yeah, tell you me can. how, this, 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 that's what I'm saying. It's always, it's, it's semantics. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So we've come to the end of the podcast. Okay. All right. We've come to the <laughs> end of the podcast. Um, so I'm going to ask you, so we always ask this at the end of every podcast. Mm-hmm. What did, what did you learn today? What did you learn today? Um, I learned that if I like somebody, I should just go ahead and talk to them about how I feel. Mm-hmm. I guess if I get to the point where I'm craving a relationship, it's okay to ask for one. It is. Um, is that it? It's okay to uh, have options. Yeah, it is. Learn that. Absolutely. Uh, what I learned today was, was that I'm not letting nobody's dusty ass daughter play me. <laughs> uh, I also <laughs> learned that um, you... Uh, you 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 showing your thigh and um Clint listen to nothing I said ladies you know I didn't uh it was just nothing. a whole bunch of gibberish no I'm playing you know what I actually learned today uh, you said something interesting um we were talking about how guys uh or how how you how you how you ask somebody to be your girlfriend at mm-hmm. first I want to do that whole romantic like I'm asking you I'm not asking no more now I'm gonna just tell you <laughs> I'm gonna hit you with the yo we doing like yo it's a rap. That's my new line now. Like, yo, we doing this. No, like, it's what's a rap. the rules? Like, I want to follow you. Let me know your rules. Yeah, Let me know your rules. Rap. Rule. You know? Rap. So plug people where they can find you on social media. You guys, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at King underscore Karma. That's Karma with a C, C A R M A underscore. Um, that's on Instagram and Twitter. Um, I'm also a host on Afterbus TV. You can find me review- reviewing Black Ink Crew Chicago um, and a bunch of other shows over there. Um, you can catch my designs on the red carpet and on Kiana Lede. I'm also a, de- a designer, um, so I design for quite a few people. But Kiana Lede is rocking my designs right okay. now, and you know, I'm just out here. You know, who right. knows where you'll see me next? Right. All right. Make sure y'all follow it. Also, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, don't forget. You know, Kansas City, June 16th, June 18th, Washington D.C. June 19th, Los Angeles. Those are the next three podcasts. Make sure you guys get your tickets. They're $5. Uh, also want to thank you for coming on. I really thank appreciate it. Thank you so glad, much for glad, having glad me. Glad to have you. Um, also, um, yeah, that, that's that's really... And make sure, again, y- y'all keep... Leave a, leave a rating. Share. Subscribe. Do whatever you need to do. Share the podcast. Tell your friends about the podcast. Put your friends on the podcast. Let your friends know, hey, we talk, we talk that shit, all right? Thank you guys for listening to another episode. Appreciate you, and we out. You want to keep it real? You know the deal Keep you up on game It won't be the same Say what's his name? Clint Coley Say what's his name? Clint Coley Say what's his name?